getting the U.S. passport is going to be at least an 8 to 11 week process. So how do you get started? First, you have to find the nearest acceptance facility. That's going to be like the post office, the county clerk, the register of deeds. Now, wherever you're going, always make sure you call first to see if you actually need an appointment or not. Now, if you do need an appointment and you get some kind of email confirmation, make sure you bring that information along with you. But it's not just that email confirmation that you're going to need. You're going to actually have the application ready to go. So what you need to do first is go to the U.S. Travel Department website and download form DS-11 and complete it. Now, if you are renewing your U.S. passport, download DS-82 instead. You're also going to need to collect all the documents that you need to get your U.S. passport, and you need to have photocopies of every document as well. So first off, you need to prove you're a citizen, and you can do that with one of the following. You can either use a previous undamaged passport. You can use your original birth certificate with all the relevant details required on the DS-11. You can use a consular report of birth abroad if you were born outside the United States, or you can use the certificate of naturalization or citizenship. Next, you're going to have to prove your identity, and you can do that with either a driver's license, a passport book or card, you can use a military ID, or again, you can also use your certificate of naturalization or citizenship. So you're also going to need a color photo. Now, there's some very specific requirements for this. It has to be a two by two inch photo. Your face must be forward and from chin to crown, your face must take up one to one and three eighths of an inch within that photo. You know, you can't be wearing any glasses or hats unless you have a signed statement about some kind of religious exemption or a verified medical reason for not being able to remove either your hat or your glasses. Now, you must have a plain white or off-white background. You can't have any military green shirts on. And also, you can only put it on matte or glossy photo quality paper. Now, of course, you have to make sure you actually pay all the fees as well for your U.S. passport book. That's going to cost you $110 with an additional $35 that goes to the acceptance facility as an execution fee. You'll also see that there's an option for a passport card that only costs $30 as compared to the $110 for the U.S. passport book. But do you really need a passport card? Let's dive into that real quick. So what is the passport card? Well, if you ask the United States government, they're going to tell you that the passport card is a wallet-sized travel document that can only be used to re-enter the United States at land border crossings and see ports of entry from Canada, Mexico, places in the Caribbean, and Bermuda. Now, the card provides a less expensive, smaller, and convenient alternative to the passport book for those who travel frequently to these destinations by land or by sea and the passport card cannot be used for international travel by air. So specifically, this card was designed for people who live near the northern or southern borders of the United States. They either travel frequently for work between the two countries or they visit family on both sides quite often. Here are reasons you might actually want to get the U.S. passport card. So number one is that you don't actually plan on flying anywhere internationally. If you are going to be getting on a plane and going to another country, yes, you need your passport book, but if you're just driving to Canada or driving to Mexico or taking a cruise down to Bermuda, you're only going to need a U.S. passport card in that case. Number two is that you only plan on traveling between North America, the Caribbean, and Bermuda. You can't go any farther than that with the U.S. passport card, but if you don't plan on it, then why spend the extra money on the U.S. passport book? Number three is that the U.S. passport card can be used as an extra form of ID. So let's say you are going traveling, you're flying to another country, you have your passport book, you might want to get that U.S. passport card and spend that extra $30 just to have that extra form of ID. Let's say you lose your passport on the road. It's going to be a lot easier to get another one if you already have your U.S. passport card on you. Number five is that it's super compact and it really easily fits in your wallet. Now, if you're going to be traveling with a U.S. passport book, you can see how this does not fit in a wallet. It's hardly going to fit in your pocket. It's not very discreet. It's very obvious when you're walking around with it and it's not something you'd want to lose or drop or anything like that. So having something that's a little bit more secure in that US passport card might be a good idea. Now, whether you actually need the passport card or not, you're gonna have to pay when you apply no matter what. So if you're applying at one of the acceptance facilities, you're gonna need a check or money order made out to the US Department of State. 
If you're applying at a passport agency, you can use check, money order, credit card, or even cash there as well. And if you're outside of the US and applying for your passport, well then just check with the consulate or embassy that you're applying at for their fee structures. Now, if you have everything ready, you have all your documents, you have all your photocopies, you have your money all ready. The last thing you need to do is just go to your appointment. And if all is well, you should expect your US passport in eight to 11 weeks. But what if that's waiting way too long? There's an emergency or something. You need to get your passport ASAP. We'll just click this video right here to learn how you can do that.